What's going on YouTube? It's Anthony from CompSize Studio and welcome back to your 40th Java programming tutorial. So today I'm going to be teaching you guys a quick little concept. You'll catch on to it right away. It's really easy. And um, in the next tutorial we're going to be doing pretty much the same thing, but we're going to be using it in a little different way. And uh, so I should probably tell you what this concept is if I'm going to be teaching it. Um, so basically we're just going to be learning a new keyword today. And the keyword is called this. Now if you guys remember, uh, way back we learned about global and local variables actually I think it was pretty recently so yeah just go check it out if you haven't checked it out already I think it's like the 35th or something tutorial no 36th tutorial so go check that one out if you haven't seen it and uh, this tutorial will make a lot more sense so let's just make a constructor quickly uh, so right in our class here our YouTube tutorials class that has our main method just go public YouTube tutorials and put your uh, little brackets down your parameters and we're just gonna leave those empty for a little bit well for this tutorial we're not gonna be having any parameters and um, out here we're just gonna make a global variable we'll call it int hamburger and we'll set it equal to a value of like 90 or something and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, another local variable uh, inside of our constructor method and we'll also call it int hamburger but this time we're gonna set it equal to 56 now you might be wondering um, are you allowed to make two variables of the same name and in this case you are because this is a global variable and this is a local variable so you're allowed to have two variables of the same name as long as they're in different um, areas of your code so basically one has to have global scope and the other one has to have local scope so when I say scope um, I just mean one has to be a global variable and one has to be a local variable um, so yeah what if we wanted to print out this variable right here what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go s out and then print out hamburger and um, just so it runs our actual program uh, we have to call the constructor inside our main method so you just need to go YouTube tutorials and we'll call it Y or something and set equal to new YouTube tutorials and empty parentheses there we go and uh, if we ran this right now uh, we got 56 now you might be wondering how does it know to use this variable here instead of this one well Java picks the one that has the most local scope so this one is a local variable and this is a global variable it's always gonna pick the local variable over the global one and so what if we want to actually access the global one well Java gave, gave us a keyword to do that and all we have to do is use the, this keyword and then put a dot and then as you can see it pops up and it says hamburger so click on that hamburger right there come on click there we go and um, if we run this now we'll get 90 and bam there we go so that's pretty much all that this keyword does it's really easy I know a lot of tutorials make it really confusing but yeah I just tried to make it as easy as possible for you guys and I hope you understood it and if you like this video comment rate and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial